units of radioactivity curie because Marie Curie, Pierre Curie only discover. So, it is the traditional unit of radioactivity is the Curie. It is defined as a quantity of a radioactivity substance which undergo 3.7 into 10 power 10 disintegration in 1 second. This is actually close to the uh, activity of uh, 1 gram of radium 226. One ra that, is the, uh, that is the mass number is 226. One Curie is equal to 3.7 into 10 power 10 integrate uh, disintegration per second so what is the one curie 3.7 into 10 power 10 disintegration per second this so this much of integration will be taken place so how much speed it is and root of food rd it is another unit of radioactivity it is defined as the quantity of a radioactivity substance which produces a 10 power 6 disintegration in 1 second. 1, ray, one root of 4 is equal to uh, 10 power 6 disintegration per second. Bacterial BQ, it is the SI unit of radioactivity is bacterial. The SI unit of radioactivity is a bacterial only. It is defined as the quantity of 1 disintegration per second. Quantity of 1 disintegration per second. Rontigen or it is the radiation exposed by all gamma and x-rays is measured by another another uh, <coughs> unit called rontigen. One rontigen is uh, defined as the quantity of radiative substance which produces a charge of 2.58 into 10 power 2.58 into 10 power minus 4 coulomb in 1 kilogram. So, one rotigent is defined as a quantity of radioactive substance which produces a charge of 2.58 into 10 power minus 4 coulomb in 1 kilogram of air under standard condition of pressure, temperature and humidity. So, this is the one rotigent. And next one is the alpha, beta. So, here I told you, you know, that the disintegration taken place. Beryllium heat with helium nuclei gives a carbon, stable carbon plus na one uh, that is a new, that is uh, it is having a it is nothing but a neutron 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 n zero one is a neutron here i so told you uh, what happened mostly elementary particles such as neutron positron etc are emitted mean the neutron this is a neutron n one zero is a neutron and alpha beta gamma rays when a radioactive nucleus undergo radioactivity it emits harmful radiation these radiations are usually comprised of any one of the three types of particle they are alpha this is a sign of beta and this is a sign of gamma. Uranium named after the planet Uranus was discovered by Martin Klaproth, a German chemist in a mineral called pitch blend. A German chemist in a mineral called pitch blend. Pitch blend is the ore of the uranium. From this only, from the pitch blend only, uranium is extracted because it is named after the planet Uranus in uh, uh, that is the 8th, 9th and all you studied. And properties of alpha, beta and gamma rays. There are three particles possess certain similarities and dissimilarities in the properties. See here. Uh, uh, what are they? That is a alpha alpha ray, helium nucleus. I told you, you know, here beryllium hit with the helium nucleus. Uh, they all alpha particle I told. Yeah, so, this is a helium nucleus consisting of two protons and four neutrons. Uh, uh, two protons and two neutrons and uh, that is the mass number is four. And the beta rays are, they are electrons. Uh, electron E0 minus one basic elementary particle in all atoms. So, electron we can write like like this only and uh, gamma ray they are electromagnetic wave consisting of photons they are ele electromagnetic waves consisting of photons and uh, alpha rays is a positively charged particle charge of each alpha particles because it's two no two plus two plus two e and uh, negatively charged particle charge of each beta particle is minus e Minus C because it's a minus sign, negative sign. Neutral particle charge of each gamma particle is zero. I told you no. Know? Uh, here zero. And uh, next one, yeah, ionizing power. Hundred time of greater than beta rays and uh, ten thousand times greater than gamma rays. So hundred times. So it is uh, having the ionizing power is more in a uh, alpha rays. Hundred times greater than beta rays and ten thousand times greater than uh, gamma rays. 
and comparatively low beater is having ionizing power is very low and next one uh, gamma rays is having very very less ionization power and next penetrating power is go inside any material medium that is known as a penetration so penetrating power low penetrating power even stopped by a thick paper if we give it the thick paper we can stop the alpha rays and penetrating power is greater than that of the alpha rays they can penetrate through the thin metal foil they can they can penetrate through the thin metal foil and uh, here the gamma ray they have very high penetration power greater than that of the beta ray they can penetrate through the thick metal blocks but metal block thick metal blocks if you keep the uh, the way of the gamma rays it can penetrate through the thick metal blocks and next one is the effect of electric and magnetic field deflected by both the field in accordance with the fleming's left hand rule alpha rays because alpha rays is a positive charge isn't it for that uh, it can deflected through the uh, both the deflected by both the fields in accordance with both the fields magnetic fields and electric field both the fields means electric field and uh, magnetic field electric and uh, magnetic field because having a positive charge and uh, next uh, deflected by both the fields this also both the fields magnetic and electric field but the direction of the deflection is opposite to the alpha rays because alpha rays positive charge so it will be deflected to the negative charge of the electric current but here this is a negative charge it is a, a deflected to the positive charge of the electric current so it is opposite to the uh, alpha rays in accordance with the fleming's left hand rule and they are not deflected by both the fields because it is a neutral particle neutron i told no because it is a, they are not deflected by both the fields and the speed uh, the speed ranges from 1 by 10 to 1 by 20 times of the speed of light what is the speed of light 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second so the, sp the speed ranges from 1 by 10 to 1 by 20 times of the speed of light the speed can be go up to uh, 9 by 10 times of the speed of light they travel with the speed of light so uh, gamma rays will be travel with the because it's electromagnetic wave so it is travel with the speed of light so this comparison and what is the difference between the natural radioactivity and uh, artificial radioactivity you should write the test and send me in the whatsapp uh, i think nobody is not doing that because i am giving in the question in the video itself so you should listen the video and uh, you should uh, write the test and send me in the whatsapp thank you